the fresh from my last video, check that one out, all about the Derby Terrain information. What are we doing though? We're doing a clutch replacement, well, clutch investigation first, probably a replacement after. What do we need now? Tools! And the light in the way. Right, let's get on with it. Are we sitting comfortably? Yes. Here we are at the size. We're going to get all these nuts off. But... First to get off the sump guard. These tight allen keys are cheap as anything. Um, the bolts themselves. I've had to mangle that one to get it off. As you can see. So uh, you are going to need a pair of these. To try and get little bits and bobs off. So let's drain the oil out. Obviously it has fully adjusted the clutch cable. I'm going to loosen this right off so I can relay this before I'm taking it off. And once I do this, the oil will come out. All these bolts are the same size, so you haven't got to worry about marking them up. And we've got all of them out so far. And I'm also adjusted this clutch lever now so I'll be able to um, undo it and take it out. Just simply just pop that out. Now, this should freely go around. See where it should, there's still a bit there though. But it's just not coming back completely. A little persuasion, just lever it here, twist out, and there goes your oil. Um, it's a bit dirty, isn't it? Time for an oil change, wouldn't you say? Let that leak out, and then we get this panel off. It's gonna be a bit of a wiggle. There we go. And there we have the clutch. And it's all little plates. Let's look at the plates. Uh, bit thin. I mean, it's working obviously, but a bit thin. Gubbing's inside. There's the uh, cam chain. It's quite good looking inside here sometimes. Be careful of springs and stuff that you don't lose them. Literally, all this does is sit in there, clip there, clips there and pulls it out. Pulls your clutch in and out. That's what it does. Looks a little bit worn. Not damaged though, but can you see a little lip there? It's a little worn. Anyway, so far so good, eh? Well, investigated the plates look good sometimes really poor adjustment causes this and this is what it was last owner had adjusted it here and pulled it too tight and not adjusted it from the cable that's much better it's not lagging behind before you push this right there back remember guys there's adjustment here so adjustment under here and that's what it needed freeing up now the clutch flies back it's not spongy it's a pretty simple job done so now it's time for an oil change so I'll do the plug as well and have a quick investigation of that one it's not hard to find on here got to sort out that bloody stand though that's gonna be probably the biggest job anyway let's refill it full of oil plug is in here so unless I can get it up it looks like it's tank off almost certainly some plastic panels to get in there anyway as I say let's clean up I've made a bit of mess Let's give this dirty oil and put some nice proper oil in there. Check the stats. I don't know if it's 10, 40, 5, 30, but check the right oil. Let's clean this engine. The plug was in here like I thought it was. Obviously, not a bad plug. I'll get another one. It is a CR8EB. Small port. Literally, pop it in. You need simple. Okay, get it in. You basically pop that in down there undo it lift it up gently pop that one out and then take the rest out because you haven't got a lot of room you don't need to take anything off though well it is handy that's what i did it with you push it down undo it and it clips out and comes out the whole thing i will buy another one i haven't got one today but it's on the agenda pops in there so you just pop it in pop it down and put it back in again next right we'll carry on carrying on from the clutch okay just on the plug so now to refill the oil. But let me show you quickly where the oil bit is and it's got a little tiny filter with it as well. Oddly, that's it there and that comes out and there's a little filter there, but in here is where you put the oil. That comes out to get the oil out. And this odd little bit here is your oil. Odd little top, you'd have thought I'd done it better than that. But nicely, 
there is a little bit here to tell where these should be full and empty. Remember this little stick, that's very low and that's to fill it up. You regularly need to check this. You really have to check it all regularly on all 125 50cc's. Bigger bikes not so much, but they all burn a little bit of oil. So look to what needs to go in there and now we're going to refill it full of oil. Just remember, don't overfill your bike. As I said, pull it just under the line, go for a ride, have a check. It's not like big bikes with a big filter to fill up, but don't overfill your bike. It is as bad as underfilling. Trust me. Anyway, let's fill up some oil. There we go. Plug, easy. Oil, easy. Air filter is under the seat. Simple as that. Not a bad little one, really. That just plops on there. And that goes there. Give it a wipe over. Handy tip coming. When you come to this side of the bike, so you don't notice very much, it's in here. You see this? This is for any detritus, well that's a big word, rubbish, oil, any bit, fills this up. When doing a service, take this off and check it. Why? It was full of oil. Picks up bits of oil, bits of crap, chucks it into the back of the air filter. This bike was starting and stalling from start. It isn't now. Haven't heard it yet, have you? buy a spark plug, another air filter, already put two and a half litres of oil in there-ish, um, and this job's done really. I will pull the bike outside, you can have a nice look out there, sunshine, and then that's pretty much done guys. So what's left? Put it all back together, polish, clean, test ride, see how we go and decide what we're going to do there. I will show you outside in a minute and you can have a good look around the bike, but if you watch my first video of this, simple isn't it? The clutch works really well now, it was just really badly adjusted. Take a bit of time on that. If you get it wrong, you've got problems. It was coming out and snatching. It doesn't anymore. For anybody, before I go outside, has one of these bikes, please note I put the air filter, I just plopped it in. Come and look. It does not go that way, silly ass. It goes that way, and the air box then nicely fits down. And there we go. One derby terrain, serviced, running, Looking a lot cleaner than she was. Clean all that side up now. Paid exhaust, could have done a little bit more on the side, but it's very difficult to get hold of, to be honest with you. And uh, service and job done. So just come back from a five mile ride. Bode really well, clutch doesn't snap anymore. Just from taking it off and wiggling it around and readjusting it worked really well. Brakes are good, everything else is fine now. I left the old spark plug in it's clean, but I'm going to get another one and an air filter, but the oil's fine. Otherwise that, that's good to go. Like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves on the road.